Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we are gonna be adding some of these 3D printed mods to the K1C. Now, I love this printer, but I think these mods will help and tweak it and make it just that much better. Okay, so if you watched my review video of the K1C from Creality, uh, you will know that I love this printer. It is constantly printing. Um, if you want to see the review, take a look in one of these corners to the link to check that out. I'll also put the link in the description. But this thing has been a workhorse for me. I really, really like it. Now, there are some things that I definitely would like to tweak on this, and that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, one of the things we talked about, of course, was the fact that the filament runout sensor and the spool holder are on the back, like in all the K-series. We're going to put them on the side. I was also concerned with the um, carbon filter, uh, it not really being all that great. Again, check out that um, review. But what I can say is it's like a rattle. I mean, it's not packed enough to actually combat any sort of odors or trap anything. So we're gonna be fixing that and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. We're also gonna be raising the plastic lid here and adding hinges to make it a little easier to open and close and the raising of it will help it so that the cable chain doesn't hit the top of it sometimes. So we'll be doing that and I and a couple other little tweaks, uh, all the things I printed uh, and you can see the links below where I got these files. Now some of them are on the drive when you get the printer and I'll tell you which ones those are and some again you can download. So let's get it going and we will start modifying this thing. I'm really looking forward to it. I need to get this done because I need to get it into the shop because like I said, it's printing constantly. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take out the screws where the filament side mount's going to go. We're just going to screw these things in. I try to keep the focus on what I'm trying to focus on, but when your hands go in front of the screen, sometimes the focus gets pulled. But I think you get what's happening here. Then we put the spool on, and it's nice and tight. I'm really, really happy with that. I think it looks nice, simple, clean. Now we're going to take the two screws off that we're going to replace with the new filament runout sensor holder. First, of course, we've got to take this one off, and it's pretty easy, just a few screws. Keep these screws, you won't be able to use them for the most part because, you know, the depth's more, so you need to use new screws. Again, when you download these files, you'll see he's got a list of the screws you'll use. Now, the good thing is there is enough cable here, almost like they knew someone would want to do this, so just gently pull that cable out, and then go ahead and screw the new filament runout sensor in, the thing you need to do first though is make sure you put those screws through the back because what you're going to do is take the um, PTFE tube and holder and screw that on there with a couple of those small little nuts and then you're just going to go ahead and finish putting on the filament runout sensor on the back of that. Now let's go ahead and take care of this. I found some of this premium carbon filter fiber paper uh, or cloth. It's really dense and I cut it out and put it in there and I think that's going to help a lot with odor. Now we just take these screws out. Just remember they don't really hold anything up so you're not going to hurt anything. And we're going to screw in our top lid. The first two of course go in the front. They don't have the hinges. Now you don't need to do hinges. When you print these out they actually give you four corners that don't. You can see here on this one those two things in the back are obviously going to be for the hinges. So you just go ahead and screw these in. And you can put your uh, spacers in here. So if you want to print different types of filament, you're, you're not going to lose any through airflow. The heat's going to stay in. And now we're going to go ahead and put in our uh, hinges. Again, these are all printed out right on this printer, actually, the K1C. And you can just drive a long screw through. Again, when you download these, uh, description in the description below, they've got all the screw sizes and everything you need. And of course, you just drive that through. And look at that. I love how you don't have to find a place to put this lid. It's awesome. And the last thing we're going to do is put this little side fan on. This was printed, uh, this file came with the printer actually, and it just makes it so nothing can get in that big fan. So those weren't super complicated mods, but I really, really think they're going to make this printer just pretty much perfect as far as I'm concerned. I have printed 
I don't know, 10 spools through this, and I have had two failures, and they were because of me setting the filament to the wrong type of filament and nothing else. Uh, I just, I love this thing as a workhorse. Now let's go over these things really quick again. We put the spool holder on the side and mount went in really easy. Went ahead and put the filament runout sensor up here. So now we can just go right to the side here. We, I, can, I don't have to be pulling this out every time I need to use it. When I was using it on this table, fantastic, but now it's gonna go in the back and it's gonna be next to other printers and now I don't have to pull it out every time I need to change out the filament. So I love this. Now make sure when you, take a look at the instructions on the links I'm gonna put in the description for these, especially for the runout sensor, make sure you use the right size screw and keep checking, just put your hand in there because the belt is right there and you don't wanna have the screw you know, go too far through, a really long screw. I would even suggest using a smaller screw uh, lengthwise so it doesn't go deeper into that. This top part I am in love with. I was able to raise the screw up over here. If you look at my review, I mentioned how some of the, one of the magnets was up too high. Uh, since it is closed off with these slats that we put in, we can still print stuff like uh, ABS and PETG. Um, and if we are printing just standard PLA, all we have to do, look at this, the, the magnets got a hold of it so well. All we have to do is this and leave it open and we're set. Or you can just take these out, close it, and you're gonna get proper airflow. So, you know, I am really, really digging that. I'll probably actually just take those out when I'm printing, um, printing PLA. They actually have different spacers that come with it when you download it that have holes in it or octagons. Uh, so you could always have those in if you're not printing more exotic materials. Of course, the little fan guard for the inside, I think that'd be great in case of, you know, a piece of uh, maybe support flings loose or something. Not that I've had that happen. Um, and then, of course, the uh, carbon filter in the back. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. When I run ABS through this, I could smell an odor, uh, ABS melting odor. And I'm hoping now with this uh, carbon fiber uh, fabric that is actually covering the whole thing that that will go away. So super happy with all these little updates. Uh, I'm gonna go set this in the back now put some more filament in it and get printing. So again, really excited about this. If you're interested in picking one up, links are below. There are affiliate links. If you click on those, I will get a little bit of money and I will use it to buy more filament and or paint or whatever. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really happy with these. Links below to all the downloads. And uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.